Saturday in this great nation, 400 heavy metal old school drag racers and thousands of die-hard fans join together for a flat-out supercharged celebration of speed. I ask you to do one thing. Race your car all out. To see who will win $10,000 on Pink's All Out. I'm gonna run it all out, see what it's got. Hard as it'll go. I'll blow the cylinders out the bottom. We're gonna give it everything we got. And more. Where gold and glory can be won with a drop of Rich's arms. I love the arm drop, old school. I like the fact that uh, it's all heads up racing. And the action off the track is just as wild as it is on. The big rush I get now is stopping. You know, there's a lot of wild things happen when you start going from, from go to woe. So get in. Buckle up and hang on for this e-ticket ride. You do not want to be out here with me. For Pink's All Outtakes is on. It's just awesome. Pink's is cool, man. Love watching it on TV. It's even better being here. On wheels, right here. Welcome to Ohio, the home of rock and roll. The energy level here is absolutely amazing and unlike anything I've ever experienced in drag racing. And high octane horsepower. I've never seen so many people in one place uh, trying to get into a uh, drag strip before. Here in Norwalk, the symphony of sound will be performed by over 500 racers. The crowd is unbelievable. We have over 500 cars here today already, and it's 11:10. Uh, Running all out. Hoping it hooks up, hoping it goes fast, and hoping I get a chance to get on banks. When tickets went on sale December 3rd, we sold 400 tech cards in 11 minutes. I came into work on Monday morning, December 3rd, and there were people camped out in my parking lot. Pink's all out in Norwalk. It's just amazing just to be here. Let the music begin. This is their Super Bowl. This is the Super Bowl for these folks. Let's go, racers. Racers to the starting line. He's two years old. He was diagnosed with Lyme disease in the summer of 2007. He was running fevers of 105, 104, and he was really hurting and in pain. And all he wanted to do the whole time was sit on the couch with me and watch Pinks. We recorded every show. He's watched every one of them. He's become one of the biggest fans. So we wrote a letter to Rich explaining how much he loved the show. And we got a response saying that he'd love to meet him. We are standing there and all of a sudden, Rich walked up and Zachary turned around and seeing him, he the smile just came across his face. He's a big, great boy, isn't he? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Well, I hope you have a fun day today, okay? Oh, gonna love it. Thanks for coming out. Okay, thank you. Every time we walk in the bedroom or in the house, he yells, pink, and he wants to turn the TV on to see if it's on. Uh, he loves race cars. And, I mean, it's the best thing in the world for him. Pink. Oh. Old Fords never die. They just run. almost a gasser, but it was done, you know, sitting behind a house, and I uh, went up and knocked on the door and said, hey, you want to sell it? And the guy said, yeah, 1500 bucks. And I uh, worked on it for a couple hours, got it running, and pulled it home, and now you see what I've done to it years later. I used to run a 396. Now I'm uh, running a 496. The car is pretty mild. It's about 11 2 to 1 motor, and runs on the street as well. Pretty big draw. 
you know, a lot of fans, uh, I guess because it ain't a Camaro or a Mustang, and don't get me wrong, I got nothing wrong with those, but it does stand out, and there's a few of us hot rods here. So, uh, you know, I thought I'd come over here and have some fun, too. Unfortunately, when you're racing for this, you're going to keep your foot in it a little longer when it's on the line. Stick around. There's more Pink's All Outtakes coming up next. I'm running this thing all out on Pink's as fast as it'll go. We're turning back the clock here on Pink's All Out. If the car built to run 7.50 seconds and a quarter mile at about 180 miles an hour. This is a 1970 original Jerry Dawson chassis that has been modified to uh, meet the current safety rules, but that's when the car was originally built. This is a, a small block Chevrolet, 410 cubic inches, and it runs on 60% nitromethane. A thing of the past because it's so expensive, but back in the 60s, this is the way they did it, and I'm trying to relive the 60s because I love it. My lifelong dream to have a car like this and I'm 55 years old. There's nothing like it in the world. Everybody needs to do it one time. No, it's not Christine, but it is a fury. And hell has no fury like a Plymouth fury. A buddy of mine bought it bought for a demo car and I come called me up said hey come down you live two blocks down from my house said come on down look at my new demo car I went down looked at it I was 16 I was like no way name your price he named his price doubled his money it's just different so I just liked a big car it was an oddball and people thought I was nuts for doing it the motor is 493 automatic transmission and a eight and three quarter rear end it's got a 410 gear in it now and we just switched it it had 355 gear in it the car weighs 4,250 pounds. It'll run in the 12. Here we go, I love that purple. I'm a purple fan. Definitely a big ten attention getter. I mean, people see me, they look at it like it's a spaceship or something, you know, I mean, it's definitely a good time. It was red, it was hell red. And I had painted Christine on the rear end cover one time in red and white, you know. Just kind of a joke, just because it's a fury, you know. But I took it off there now. Scorching the track here at Pink All Out. I've always owned a Pontiac because mainly back in that day nobody else did, and uh, it was uh, a challenge to make one go fast, and I felt as though I could do that. I bought this car in '94, and I've just been playing with it so long that I got tied up with some drag racing people, and things go downhill after a while, and this is what you end up with. I'm really racing a rare car because it's been my car for almost 30 years. It's just been my baby for that long. It's just more unique. You don't see a lot of the Pontiacs out there. And I've had Pontiacs for, you know, I swear, since I was 16. This is my fifth Trans Am. The car has been as quick as a 1029 uh, with this motor. A 455 in it, Pontiac. It's an all steel motor. It has Ram Air 4 heads. And today, they're the underdog. And when you can make a Pontiac go fast, I just feel like I'm doing something better than, you know, a regular Chevrolet or something like that with a 540 big block. The all Pontiac wave was the only way for me and always has been, you might say. A Nitro Harley is a 60 to 40 
85 degree V twin. We got two speed transmissions and big clutch and big motors, 185 inch motors, and they make a whole lot of power. So Pro Stock Harley Davidson and the AHDR Racing Association makes 230 horsepower, and we run low eight second quarter miles to high seven second quarter miles at 160 miles an hour, all the way up to 165 miles an hour. I like the challenge of getting them down to the end of the track every run. They're not easy to ride, and uh, every time you go up there, it's going to do something different. The big rush I get now is stopping. You know, there's a lot of wild things happen when you start going from, from go to woe. We're just about really coming here and enjoying the excitement of, of the Pink's event. It's, it's an incredible event, a lot of people, spectators, and just uh, really just having a good time with it. My money. That's my money. It's going home with me in my pocket. It's all mine. It's going to be mine here in just a minute. <laughs> Stick around. There's more Pink's All Outtakes coming up next. runs a scorching 7.61. Run like that, and you'll end up in the quick eight. race where the fastest eight cars are going to race for eight thousand dollars in cash and prizes it's gonna be mine here in just a minute my money mine me that's my money it's going home with me in my pocket all mine money is mine it's all he's fire somebody help him he's got a fire help him out Nitrous backfire. You get these big motors, put a lot of juice to them. It happens all the time, man. Folks, we've got some issues. Unbelievable pass. Very, very clear. He jumped. Bart Tobinar jumped. Mike G moves on.
Campbell. He got squirrely. He kept it out of the wall. Unfortunately, when you're racing for this, you're going to keep your foot in it a little longer when it's on the line. And now, here is the final round of the Quick 8 Shootout. We have catastrophic failure. We've got oil all over the place. You're blowing oil from the burnout box to here. Oh, well, hell, then we're done. You're done. That's all I'm saying. Make some noise. There's your winner, Mike G, ladies and gentlemen. I just won quick eight and things all out. Yeah! We needed a bigger cooker, and I was trying to make it something that goes with the racetrack theme. It's the Nitro Hall Dragster Smoke. Can I give you a bit of advice? You do not want to be out here with me. that would represent today's soldiers. Rugged, innovative, unique, uh, and include all the modern weaponry that we use to train with every day. Driving, it's a blast. Uh, you know, it's different than any other motorcycle I've ridden motorcycles all my life. And this is just unique. I mean, it rides different. It's, it's just unexplainable. I, I've been a fan of Pink's all since it came on TV. So for me to actually be out here and be a part of it, uh, you know, that's a huge deal for me. Uh, our mission is to reconnect America's people with America's Army. We appreciate all the support that we get every day. It's American Graffiti here at Pink's All Out. It's a unique car. I wanted something unique that nobody else had. Everybody loves the car. More people like it, Mopar people like it, Chevy people like it. I bought the car off racing junk three years ago. It was a basket case, and I rebuilt it. Done all the body work, the paint, the interior, motor, transmission, everything but the headers on it. All that fast T-Bird needs is a platinum blonde in the passenger seat. It's pretty fast. Like I'm getting shot out of a cannon. <laughs> Whatever's cooking in the Midway sure smells delicious. It's the Nitro Hog Dragster Smoke. That's probably going to be the only one like it in the world. You know, we needed a bigger cooker, and I was trying to make it something that goes with the racetrack theme, and, and uh, that come to mind. We was going to make a top fuel dragster cooker, found the frame, and just one thing led to another, and here we are. I mean, it's just off the hook. Hi, can I help you? Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Give us, Give us the, the scoop, scoop on your lovely, lovely server. That's the Nitro girls. They're, they're really sweet girls. It's actually pretty fabulous. We get a lot of attention, a lot of business. Can't beat Nitro Hog, man. Yeah, the women help a little bit, too. People come here two or three times a day. Yeah, just to come see, just to come see us. I can't imagine why. Charlie is my mascot hog driver. He's probably got more camera action than probably anybody out here. So what is the secret to your barbecue? Charlie cannot give away the secret of this barbecue. Look at it. Turkey's on steroids. Ah! Charlie don't talk, and, and it's a good thing, because I'd probably kill him again. Folks, are you ready for the weed stand back up so we all don't die together. It's going to break my heart if we're going to have to go get a board to get the job done.
the trickles downstream. Where will we go? Where will we find? And this time a block of block and see the leaves of Trevor fall off behind. Coffee deal. Now here we go again. Coffee deal. What's destined for greatness? What's destined for greatness? Nothing less than nothing less. Seize the moment, seize the day. What's destined for greatness? What's destined for greatness? <laughs> Find out how you can be part of the next exciting Pink's All Out Race. Just log on to www.speedtv.com, keyword Pink's. We're looking forward to seeing you there.